Was acting a way for you to escape from the memories of what was going on at home? To explain to people why that might be the case. It was an escape, but not so much, and certainly not consciously, as an escape from home, although my involving with amateur theatricals mm. meant, because we only rehearsed in the evenings, meant that I had a reason to be out of the house yeah. in the evenings, which is when often problems would occur. Um, and that's one of, the, one of the things that you, you actually wanted to come on the show today was to, to talk about domestic violence and the, the issues that you experienced within your, in your house. And this was at the hands of your father. Yes. Um, I was born in 1940. My father was uh, at the war. And he did not become part of my life until 1945 when he was demobbed and came home. Yeah. He ended up his military service as a superstar. Mm. He was, there he is, regimental sergeant major of the parachute regiment. So, wow. you know, yeah. he was at the top of the tree yeah. so far as non-commissioned officers go. He came home and almost from that moment my life changed, which yeah. had been idyllic. My brother and I lived with my mother and her sister across the road and we were treated mm. so well and it was... Anyway, suddenly there was this big hairy man in the house and, um, and increasingly things became more and more difficult. Mm. What I only learned about a few years ago uh, was that he had suffered what the newspapers described as severe shell shock yeah. in uh, early 1940 during, with the British Expeditionary Force and, of course, was never treated for it, what yeah. we now call post-traumatic stress yeah. disorder. He was never given any help. Mm. And when I talked to experts in this condition and described them about my father's behavior during between my fifth and my 15th birthday, he said these are classical symptoms of somebody mm. who was never, ever helped at all. Now, can you tell that us what... does not justify what he did. No. Um, and can you not tell remotely. us some of what he did? Um, well, he, he, he was a weekend alcoholic, and it was partly brought about because of his transformation from regimental sergeant major to basically a semi-skilled laborer yeah. with no authority at all. And yeah. this, I realize now, must have been very painful mm. for him. And um, he was also suffering from this condition. And um, Monday through Friday, he was dedicated to his work. He kept the Cap family going. He brought in a, a modest income. But on Friday nights, he would bath in front of the fire, bring the bath up from the cellar, and he would uh, get himself ready, dressed up with his badge on his blazer, and he would drink for most of the weekends. He was a weekend alcoholic. Yeah. And, and then he'd hit your mother. He would come home uh, from the pub or the working men's club and we would hear him singing. He loved to sing. And the kind of songs he was singing would give us an advance warning of the mood he was in. And yeah. very often it was bad. And he would initiate arguments and then those arguments developed yeah. into something more extreme. And you and violence. your brother were listening to all of this going on. And some yes, we were down. always upstairs in our, in our bedroom. And we became experts in something that children should Shouldn't never, ever have mm. to deal with, which was listening to the argument and judging when the moment it arrived when the argument would transform into violence. And at those moments, we would yeah. go in, and all we could do, really, was we would just try and put our bodies between my father and my mother. And my, did, did you tell anyone at that time, Patrick? Uh, not at that time, no, no. It was... And one of the problems mm. for domestic violence is the shame yes. that is attached to it for everybody, yeah. the victim as well as the abuser, and the children too. Yeah. After a weekend of, of trouble, when I left the house on a Monday morning to walk to school, I knew that all of the neighbours and all of the houses... They'd we were, heard it. They'd yeah. heard everything. But would they yes. not want to get involved? So, for example, like, would they not call the police? Would they... Oh, yes, that happened. Uh, it, of course, no cell phones, mm. so somebody had to go down to a phone, <laughs> phone box, box and call yeah. the police, mm. and the police would come. We had a neighbour in the next house who heard everything, of course, Lizzie Dixon, mm. may she rest in peace. Mm. And sometimes Lizzie would come in... Mm and she would stand up to my father, because mm. my mother was tiny and Lizzie was big, yeah. and she would, she would put her hand in front of his face and say, come on, Alf Stewart, really? try it on me, yeah. try it on me. Well, that's also not a solution either. Did he but ever try it on her? No, no, no. And he never abused 
his children. Right. No. It was yeah. all directed at But that my made it worse one. for you because you would have probably preferred to have taken the blows. If we could have done, yes. Yeah. But standing between them would mm. stop him. He would step back. But you're talking this, uh, you know, my, my own parents had a very, very acrimonious relationship, although not to the level that you're talking about. And I heard it too. And I just thought, I can't believe this is going on, and you are powerless to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. But isn't this incredible? We're both talking because we're you're a bit older than me, but we're talking about the early 50s now, and here we are, all these years later, and domestic abuse is still happening on an epic scale. But yes. now I'm reading that the government is bringing in a new bill to try and help the victim. At last. Uh, and, and there are many good things in this bill. However, the concern of organisations like the one I'm attached to, Refuge, uh, is that um, th the way that they are going to be financing this is uh, uh, problematic. And they, um, they, they are disbanding the welfare programme, which means that, which meant that victims of domestic violence could use um, uh, uh, housing aid yes. to pay for their time inside a hostel, inside mm. a safe house. Mm. That's what, how it would be used. That's no longer going to be available. Mm -hmm. So financing mm. all the details of this bill, particularly yeah. how to make women and children safe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.